fitting pre-facelift headlights to a facelift E39. This is a 2001 facelift car that came without any headlights, but I was given these aftermarket headlights and they use the pre-facelift bulb holder. So you can get a pre-facelift bulb holder pretty easily, but it has a connection for four wires because the pre-facelift cars have two filaments in the bulb. One is for the parking lights and one is for the turn signal. The post facelift cars, however, if you look in the wiring harness, they only have two wires and the connector looks like this. And the reason for that is because in the post facelift cars, the light control module just changes the amount of current or voltage or whatever going through it between the parking light and the turn signal. So I bought this connector and I bought a couple of these BMW wires that have the uh, pens already in the end of them. And then you can see this is partially taken apart, but this little white part here pops up out of there. You slide the pins in, pop it back down, and then this goes back on also. And you can connect this into the new, well, new pre-facelift bulb holder, and this will work. Here's the part number for the connectors that you'll need, 61-13. 8365356. As you can see, I got them from FCP. Here's the part number for the wires 61130056384. And you can actually do this whole job with just two of these because you're going to cut them in half and you'll have to crimp them onto the car because they come pinned at both ends. This is the pre facelift bulb holder. I don't have the part number offhand, but these headlights you can get on Amazon, they'll have the part number for the bulb holder in the description. You'll see there's a spot for four wires. There's actually only three in there though. I assume it's because maybe a ground is shared. But you'll see that this has two filaments, a short one and a long one. The short one actually is the brighter burning one and the long one is for the parking lights on the pre-facelift cars. There are a couple of connectors on the car that look like this. You'll want to look for the brown and then blue with the stripe. So this is from the passenger side of the car. It's blue with, looks like brown. And then the other side of the car was something similar. It's like blue and, I want to say blue and green. You can check a wiring diagram, but again, you can see where they branch off of the wiring harness here. It's not part of the wiring harness for the rest of the headlight, which confused me at first. It's, it's part of this main harness right where it hooks up to the ground here. And on the other side of the car, similarly. See, there it is there. It comes out from kind of the main harness on the side of the car by the fender. If you've never used these connectors before, they come all put together. You'll see there's a little tab there on each side. I've kind of chewed it up with a little flathead. The plastic's kind of soft, but you pop those tabs up, push this back, and then same thing with this white one. Just get here on the left side, right there, and push that in, and this white piece pops up. And then you can easily slide the pinned wires in, put the white piece back down, and then put this back down. As far as which ones you use, well, look at this. I've got the, these are the kind of diagonal opposite positions. As long as you get the pins for the short filament in here, you're good. The polarity actually doesn't really matter. Now I've slid the black shroud back on there. It just plugs in like you would normally do to here. This is where it gets a little weird. Remember we've got a LCM from a post facelight car. Normally would have a different bulb than this two filament bulb. The turn signal operates pretty normally. I'll demonstrate that. Parking light's a little odd. It's a little slow to come on. See how it kind of came up to a glow slowly. Still works though. Note about these Amazon headlights in particular, these two wires that are here are for the halos, which are actually not LEDs, they're pretty dim. I attempted to use these two wires here, which are hot whenever the parking light position is on, to power these. But if you do that, then the parking light turn signal bulb won't work. So you can have this work or this can work, but you can't do both at the same time. The LCM doesn't like that. The halos are honestly kind of garbage on these things, so I'm just leaving it unplugged and don't have halos. But the parking lights and the turn signals do work.